Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys everything that I carry in my pockets this spring. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It's time for another EDC update, and I know you guys are probably thinking, but didn't you just do one like a month ago? You're right, I did. That was a very late winter EDC update. It's now the middle of April, which is basically the middle of spring. And the reason I'm bringing you one today is because I want to get more on track with these updates for you guys. I know you guys like these updates regardless of if my EDC setup actually changes or not. So I'm making this video today to get on a schedule. I'm gonna be bringing you one in April, a summer one in July, a fall one in October, and then a winter one in January. So about every three months you guys will get a new everyday carry update now This one should be pretty quick because not a whole lot has changed and let's just start by getting the very very obvious out of the way all of the Trayvax gear that I carry that never ever changes so first up my wallet I am still carrying the Trayvax contour you've seen these things a million times I'm not gonna go into depth on that one also from Trayvax I'm Kind of undoing my pants here this is a little weird i'm still rocking the custom ts logo trayvac cinch this is definitely one of my favorite belts you guys know i try a ton of different belts all the time and i always go back to this one i know so many people who have switched to these belts and everyone else seems to love them too so yeah that is the belt and now for the final piece from trayvac hopefully you guys know about this because i made a million announcements and it's been all over the internet but on my keys, the Trayvax link is finally back. These are available for pre-order on their website right now. This is still my one from like two years ago, but now there are new leather versions out there. It's a quick detach lanyard. If you guys are on this channel and you don't know what this is yet, I really don't know what you're doing. What is with these clouds right now too? Eh. Anyway, also on my keys, I still have the same old Gerber shard. This is actually a different one, different set of keys. And I still have this tiny little Olight here. It's a rechargeable flashlight. This thing goes from like five lumens to 130 or something like that. It's a great little option and I have both of these things on all of my keys for my different vehicles. There's the sun. All right, so that is all of my Trayvac stuff. That of course never changes. And if you guys want to pick up any of those items, that I carry with me all the time. You can use code TALON at checkout and you can save a little bit of cash on your order. Now, one more thing that never really changes, but if it does, you guys will, of course, get an update on that, is my phone. Still rocking the Google Pixel 2 XL. It's a great phone, it might be slowing down a little bit, but it still works great for my needs and if I do need to upgrade that in the future, then I will do that and you guys will probably get a video on it. Okay, now we are moving on to the three things that of course change most in my everyday carry setups. That is of course my knife, my light, and my firearm. So let's start off with the knife. Now you guys thought I was joking when I made the video. You thought that it was all some big funny joke, but nope carrying the Boker Magnum Mermaid. This was a gift from my friends at Blade HQ and you can't say enough good things about it. Ergonomic wise, this thing fits in your hands so well and it just gives you these powers that you just, you can't comprehend it unless you actually have it in your hand. It of course is rainbow so it matches everything everyone always says oh all black everything because black matches everything well if it's every color like the rainbow then that matches everything too right this thing is super sharp i can almost scrape some hairs off of my arm and hand there yeah there you go this knife with the 440a blade steel is far superior to the s35 vn that you found on my old sebenza what was I even thinking carrying around a $500 pocket knife like that? Of course I'm not gonna use something like that. I don't wanna scratch it up and you know mess up a expensive knife like that. So it is much better to carry a classy knife like this. Looks great in the pocket. Come on now, who can say anything bad about that? Thing looks awesome. So that is it for the knife. This thing is, ooh, it's so good. Such a good knife. All right, now we are moving on to the flashlight. Before I was carrying the Olight S2R Baton 2. The thing fit great in my hand. It was rechargeable, great lumens. The thing was plenty bright enough and very versatile for what I need a light for, but unfortunately, I lost it somewhere. I think I lost it when I was down in Nashville, out on Broadway the one night. So if anyone found my Olight down there, 
you're welcome. I hope it uh, brings you some joy and some lumens shed some light into your life. So I figured if I needed to replace the light that I was carrying, I needed something that one, I wasn't going to lose, and two, might as well bump up the lumen count just a little bit. So I bet you guys didn't even see this thing hiding underneath my jacket, but in my front left pocket, I have the Olight X9R Marauder. Now since there are clouds out here and it keeps blocking my sun, I will just make my own sunlight. As you can tell, this thing is super bright. If you haven't seen the video on this, I will leave a link for it right up here in the corner. But there is absolutely no way I can lose this flashlight. When I put this thing in my pocket, as you can see, it's pretty nice. Throw a jacket over there and it goes relatively, it goes, ugh, it goes relatively unnoticed. You can't really tell that I have anything in my, uh, in my pocket, right? And then of course, if you need something like a reading light at night, you just press and hold it, get a little bit of lumens, or if you double tap it, you get all the lumens, all 25,000 lumens. That's a lot of lumens. Maybe you play in a slow pitch softball league and you forgot your bat at home. Well, if you got this, pretty sure you could crack some out of the park with this. If for some reason you can't get to your firearm in a self-defense situation, but you can use your offhand to pull out this light, you can slam someone in the face with that and I guarantee you it's going to knock them out. This thing did come with a nice carrying case and a car charger as well as a shoulder strap. So if your pockets are a little bit too tight up front, you could sling this thing over your shoulder. I can't say enough good things about the Olight. X9 Armor Otter. A proper EDC setup is not complete without a flashlight like this. All right, now we're moving on to the final piece and the other thing that changes pretty frequently, that is my firearm. Now, as you guys probably know, I tend to stick with either Glocks or Smith & Wesson because those are two guns that I can absolutely depend on. I know that they're going to function every time when I need them to. And those are also the two that I shoot the best out of everything else. Now, because I prefer those two manufacturers over others, people think that I'm a little bit snobby. I've been labeled as a gun snob because I shoot guns all the time all different types of guns and I can form better opinions on guns than just a normal person who only has access to like two or three guns of their own. Now I feel you, I do not want to be a snob so I figured I would kind of change up the pace a little bit, go with something a little more slim and discreet, something that I actually do not need a holster for and that of course is the High Point C9. Now you're probably thinking, Talon, why would you carry something like that? Obviously, look at it, come on now. If you want people to know how much money you make, you gotta carry a C note high point. If your life is being threatened and you want to pull something out to let the criminal know that you are not here to fuck around, you get something like a C note high point. If carrying 15 rounds in a Glock 19 makes things a little bit too heavy, then Dumb it down to about seven rounds with a C note high point. Like I said, you really don't need a holster because you got this safety on the side here. The trigger pull, by the way. This thing is already like 10, 15 pounds. What if that would've just went off right there? This is one of the safest guns around. And just look at it. It screams, I make money because it's got money all over it. So I'm not afraid to get down and dirty with this gun. This thing is ultra, ultra reliable. This far outweighs any Glock or Smith & Wesson on the market right now, and it is just superior to everything else. The only thing that could make this better is maybe if it was chambered in like 40 or 45. I haven't quite gotten to the point though where I can uh, move up to calibers like that, so I'll just stick with the nine for now, but yeah, that is my firearm of choice for this spring. So if you guys have any questions on my current EDC setup, please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> that was so dumb. All right, guys, for real though, I am trying to get on a schedule with this whole EDC update thing, but from the last time I gave you an update, like a month ago, really nothing has changed. This is the spring update. There will be a summer update in July and then one in fall. You know how it goes. But since the last time I talked to you guys, really nothing has changed. I'm still rocking the Glock 43X, completely untouched. I have not done any modifications to this thing just yet because that was only a month ago, but just give me a little bit of time and I probably will still be carrying this thing after a while. Shoot it great, love the gun. So that thing is riding up front in my QVO, more discreet holster. 
still rocking the Chris Reeves Sebenza. People think that I don't actually use this, but if you've ever met me in person and you've taken a look at this knife, you will know that I use this. I actually had a meetup last Saturday and people saw the way I use this thing and it was kind of cringy to most, but yeah, I do use this thing and it could use some sharpening and a cleaning as well. And then as far as the flashlight goes, I did actually lose that light down in Nashville. So if someone found that, hope it uh, brings some light into your life, like I said. And since I have switched back to the Olight, i3t this is the i3t eos it's another light by olight just two different modes clicky tail cap just nice and simple it's very similar to the streamlight micro that i used to carry back in the day not quite as many lumens as the x9r marauder but it does its job i actually kind of go back and forth with do i actually need a pocket light like when i lost my light i was like do i really need to replace it i'm not sure but as soon as i'm not carrying a pocket light then i kind of feel like i need it i'll end up going somewhere in a dark place something rolls under a toolbox or under the bed and then i need a light to see it but yeah that is really the only thing that has changed because I lost my other one. So that is really it for my EDC update. I don't carry a whole lot, just what I need, and everything is really functional. Like I said before, I'm at a point where everything just works and I don't really feel the need to change a whole lot. So that is where I'm at for now, but maybe in about three months when I do the summer update, some things will change. Probably that carry gun, maybe my knife, maybe the light. Who knows, we will see when we get there. Oh dude, with this freaking light again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of joke of an EDC update. It seems like lately everyone on YouTube takes themselves way too seriously when it comes to gear that everyone carries and stuff like that. So lighten up a little bit. Hope you guys maybe had a little bit of a laugh. Hope you're having a great day. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, share with your friends, make sure you're subscribed. That's all that I got. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. That's gonna be all for today. So as always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.